Hi everyone. Today's example is related to the determination of percent finer or the sieve analysis test. So the reference for this example is the Fundamentals of Geotechnical Engineering by Das and Siva Kugan. The table shows a result of sieve analysis. The first column shows the sieve number, which are sieve number 4, 10, 20, 40, 60, 100, 200, and the pan. Then the second column shows the opening of every sieve, and the third column shows the mass retained on each sieve in grams. So this is a result of sieve analysis, and from this result, we are asked to determine the percentage finer than each sieve and plot the grain size distribution curve. We are also asked to determine the diameter at 10% finer, the diameter at 30% finer, and the diameter at 60% finer from the given grain size or from the developed grain size distribution curve. The next question is to calculate the uniformity coefficients, C sub u. And the last question is to calculate the coefficient of gradation, C sub c. So notice that I extend the table having additional two more columns for our direct calculation in determining the percentage finer than each sieve. So to determine the percent finer, we should get the percentage retained on each sieve first and then subsequently the percent finer. So that additional two columns will have, let me write, the fourth column would be the percent retained on each sieve. So that is simply getting the percentage of the given mass retained. And then directly calculate the Oh, sorry, this one is in percentage, and then this one is the percent finer than H C. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to get the sum of the mass by simply adding the mass retained in each sieve. Or initially, from the before the test, we already have this total mass. So if we add 21.6 plus 49.5 plus 102.6 plus 89.1 plus 95.6 plus 60.4 and plus 31.2, that will give us a sum of 450 grams. Okay, the next step is to determine the percentage retained on each sieve. So to get the percent retained, per sieve, we simply Divide the mass retained on each sieve divided by the summation of mass or the total mass multiplied by 100%. So just to give you an example, the percentage retained for the first sieve is equal to, of course, the first one is zero. So the mass retained is zero. So the percentage retained is also zero. So to get the percent retained for the sieve number 10, that is simply equal to 21.6 divided by 450 
times 100%. And the value that we can get there is 4.8%. So if we will do the same procedure for the rest of the sieve number, that will give us the following values. We have 11 percent here for the number 20 sieve. We have 22.8 for the number 40 sieve. And we have 19.8 for the number 60 sieve. And 21.24 for the number 100 sieve. And we have 13.42 for the number 200 sieve and 6.93% that is retained in the pan. To get the percent finer on each sieve, we simply start by the 100% minus the percentage retained on each sieve. So let's say the percent finer of percent finer for the number 4 sieve is equal to, we have to begin by 100 minus the percent retained and that will be equal to minus 0 we still have 0, so we still have 100% meaning to say 100% of the soil as the number 4 sieve if we want to get the percent finer for the number 10, that is equal to the percent finer for number 4 minus the percent retained of number 4 C <clears throat> or number 10 so we have here if we already have the percent finer which is 100% minus the percent retained on the number 10 sieve is 4.8 that will give us 95.2 okay so we can write directly here this is 100 percent and this is 95.2 then the percent finer for the number 20 is equal to the percent finer for the number 10 minus the percent retained of number 20. And this is equal to 95.2 minus 11, which gives us 84.2. And we can do the same procedure for the rest of the sieve, and that will give us values of 61.4 here for the number 40 sieve and 41.6 for the number 60, 20.4 for the number 100, and 6.94 for the number 200 sieve. So now that we have the percent finer, we can now plot the grain size distribution curve. Okay, to plot the grain size, 
we simply we need the data coming from either the sieve number or the sieve opening because this graph shows the sieve number here. You can see the sieve number on this side or the particle size at the bottom. You can actually see the grain size in millimeter and on the top is the sieve number while on the x-axis we have the percent passing here. Okay, so it, since it's easier for us to look at the sieve number, we use the top data and the percentage passing is from 0 to 100 percent. So for the number for sieve here, we have a 100 percent passing. So here's that. So this is 100 percent. And this is number four. So our first data point is located here. Now the second data point is the number 10, which is this one, having a 95% passing or finer. So this is the 95, let's say this is the 95.2%. And then The next one is a 20, number 20 or seed number 20 having 0 0.850 millimeters. So there is no number 20 here, but we can look at the opening, which is 0.85. And if this is 1, 6, 7, 8, so somewhere here or about here, this is the point the number 20 and the greens the par, uh, percentage passing is 84.2 so this is 80 this is 90 this is 85 so let's say this is 84.2 okay then the next one is a number 40 which is this one having a percentage passing of 61 percent so this is 60 say this is 61 percent and then we have number 60. We don't have number 60 on the top, but it is 0.25. So if it is 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.5. Okay, sorry. This is 0 0.5. Here is our 0 0.5. And 0 0.25 is somewhere here, 0 0.1. 0.2, so around here, 0.25. And we have a 41.6 percentage passing. So we have, let's say here, 41.6. And then we have number 100 here, having 20% passing, 20.4. 20 so this is 20, so somewhere here. And then we have the number 200 here. And the percentage passing is 6. So around here at this point. Okay. So all the data points are given. We can now connect this point so we can draw the range size distribution curve. You can see it. If you can use red. Okay. So that is our green size distribution curve. So we have answered the First question, we have determined the percentage finer than each sieve and we have plotted the grain size distribution curve. The next question is determine D sub 10, D sub 30, 
and d sub 60 from the grain size distribution curve. Again, these are the diameter at 10% finer, the 30% finer, and the 60% finer. So if we get the diameter at 10, 30, and 60, let us just plot first the 10 and connect it with our GSD curve. And then this is the, the, their intersection. And from inter, either intersection, you extend it downward. So whatever the diameter at this point, this is our d sub 10. Or let me write it here. Whatever the diameter here, this is our d sub 10. So if we look at this very, very close to 0.1, or let us say, the diameter at the 10% finer is around 0 0.09 millimeter. Okay, so this is that point here. And then the next diameter is the diameter at 30% finer. So this is our 30%. And we simply extend it to the GSD curve and then extend it downward again. Sorry. From the intersection, you extend it downward. <clears throat> and whatever the value at this point, that is your D sub 30. This is your D sub 30. And the D sub 30 is around 0.2. That is less than 0.2. So this is about 0.185 millimeter. And then for the last diameter, the diameter at 60% finer, so this is our 60, so we just simply extend it here and then from this point we extend it downward. This is very, very close to Uh, very close to the number 40 or the number the yeah, number 40 C and this is our D sub 60 and from the graph we can say that the D sub 60 is equivalent to so that is less than 0.425 and very close, so let's say this is 0 0.41 millimeter. Okay, so these are the answers for the D sub 30, D sub 10, and D sub 60. Okay, so the next question is calculate C sub U and C sub C. So we have a formula for C sub U and C sub C. Let's solve for C sub U with the coefficient of uniformity. And that is equivalent to D sub 60 over D sub 10. And our D sub 60 is 0 0.41. 
all over d sub 10 of 0 0.09. So from here, our c sub u is, ah, uh, sorry, our c sub u is 4.56. And we have C sub C, which has a formula T sub 30 square divided by D sub 60 by D sub 10. And we simply substitute values. We have 0.185 square divided by 0.41 by Point zero nine, and so from here we can solve for. Sorry, this is point zero nine. So our C sub C is point ninety three. So this is our answers. Thank you.